Hi, today I'm going to try a new game. The game is called Eternal and it's in fact a card game. I used to play a lot of card games, but at the moment I play more FPS shooters. But yesterday I found this game on Twitter and I thought I would give it a look. So, let's begin and see how this card game looks and feels like. Up to scenario one. From the beginning. Because I have no idea how this game plays. When it comes to hunting dragons, we're either all gonna end up rich I can see there is also some kind of a story, which is interesting. Animation is pretty cool. The graphics are also pretty nice. The bounty hunter and associates. What brings you here? Now the sound is also amazing. I really love it at Get the first moment. Attack with your gunslingers. Okay, we're gonna attack you with some gunslingers. Surprise attack with your gunslingers. This is equal to 4 damage. Cool. You're not the only one with friends, Wanderer. You should choose your targets more carefully. In this line of work, it pays to be prepared. Yeah, I can see that the game has similarities to, to other dragons. card games. For example, Magic the Gathering. I used to play Magic the Gathering quite a lot. I've had approximately 1000 cards. In physical form, of course, not on computer. Cool, because I can see that the flying creature has the same restrictions as an MTG. Which means that the flyer can only be blocked by other units with flying. Okay, we will kill this one. Gun down the other dragon. And this one will deal five damage, which means the flyer goes away. With the dragons gone, your units can get another attack in. Okay, now we can attack with, the with this gunslinger and this and again attack, yeah. deal 4 damage to this pretty nice creature. When will you learn, gunslinger? I'll I have only one, one, one energy left, okay. The energy, sorry. Okay. Hmm. okay. This and this one is the last bullet, bite. which means I can destroy a steady hand and a bit of luck the dragon. Of a lot of trouble. <clears throat> so let's destroy it. You will suffer for your arrogance. was a long time ago. I oh, won again story. A bit of luck to survive out here. But sometimes your luck runs out. I'd had better days. a long road to get to that tree. From Roland's dungeons to the Shadowlands and beyond. 
Never guessed my road would finish with me dancing on the end of a rope, but so it did. And this here truth is the one thing that ain't nobody telling you. And what truth is that? The truth of how we ended up here. Of why things are going to hell. Vara. <laughs> now there's a story for those who will hear it. Touched by fate. Caiaphas's true-born daughter with Island. She walked away from the throne to chase her own destiny in the Shadowlands. With Azendel to guide her, she went looking for secrets that shouldn't be learned. The poor girl strayed from the path and found herself in the darkness. The Shadowlands will rot your insides and dry you out if you're not careful. It's a deadly place to wander without a guide. I can't say where it was she found Azendel was much he had to teach. Careful, child. This one is dangerous. It's nothing I can't handle. Your enemy has no units. Attack with your gunslinger. I really love how they incorporated story into the game, though I don't know whether this is only for tutorial purposes or also something else, we'll see, we have to check it out. Okay, let's go on, I guess this, at least what I figure out, these are the heroes, or whatever, magicians, which has the most of the shield. And these are the pawns with which you attack. Okay, now the enemy doesn't have any units, so we can attack. And you deal free damage. Your enemy runs out of health. Okay, we know that. Play the elf by dragging it from your hand. Aha, uh -huh, this is the magic energy, I guess, with which you call the cards into the game. Okay, this one needs free. Okay. These were our wounds. Yeah, that's it. Okay, you have six, six of uh, six points of energy in the pool. Aha, uh -huh, and each turn the pool gets so refreshed. Okay, now I get it. Aha, uh -huh. we need to attack first. Okay. Select both of your units so they can attack together. Your opponent chose to block your elf. Aha, opponent chooses who to block. That means I cannot choose who to attack, I guess. Okay. Cool. Now you can play back alley bouncer from your hand. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna do that. You're not on the list. Ah, cool. Now the sorceries are in play. Units that are unblockable can't be blocked by enemy units, making them great attackers that can slip past enemy defenses. Cool. Unblockable character, <clears throat> which is an elf. Each enemy unit can only block one attacker. If you attack both units, your enemy can only block one of them. Great. Uh, I have to attack first. I'll attack with both of my creatures. And the opponent will decide who to block. That Lethrai Nightblade should help. Through the shadows.
Nice spell. Oh my god. We must run. No. I've done enough running. Weapons are played on your units. They provide bonuses to strength, health, and sometimes have additional effects. Oh nice. A weapon. Drag that axe to your unblockable night blade to increase its strength and health. Attack with your night blade. Those beasts won't be able to block it. That wasn't so tough. Ah, interesting. And we are finished. <clears throat> it's an easy thing to lose your way in that forsaken place, and the shadow can do strange things to you. Explorers will test the edges from time to time, but the ones who push too far don't always come out the same. Aha, uh -huh, okay, when I finish with the Shadow Strike, I will receive Starter Deck Reboot. Okay, let's go on. <coughs> what happened to you? Stay back. They've been tainted by the Shadow. Drag a shadow sigil from your hand to increase your power by one. Ah, okay, and I have the whole deck available and I have to play from the beginning. That means I have to put into play also the shadow sigil. Your power has increased. It will refresh at the start of your turn. Brass Shorthorn only costs one power to play. Go ahead and play it. Yeah, I'll play it. Bring it on! Now I can't do anything. Cool. I'll end the turn. Increase your power again by playing another sigil from your hand. Do we have you a creature for have two? two? Yeah, I have. Play flashy duelist. Cool. Watch me. And I can attack your with this one. Was played last turn and can so I can attack. attack. Remember, you lose the game if your health is reduced to zero. Spells have a one-time effect when played. Drag them to the unit or player you want to affect. Take out that enemy wolf with your spell. Now the coast is clear. Attack with all of your units. Ah, cool! You can play Shadow Sigil even at the end of the turn. At the end of the turn. <coughs> The enemy outlaw can only block one of your units. Attack! Another Sigil uh, uh, to play the four-cost bouncer. Now you can get your bouncer into the fight. Ah, cool. I also... I'm also able to call creature at the end of the turn. You're not on the list. Cool. That's nice. Drag your bouncer to block a hound. With three health, it will survive the hound's two strength attack. Even though your units are damaged in battle when they block, 
They recover all of their health at the end of each turn. Units with infiltrate provide a special effect the first time they damage the enemy player. Look for opportunities for them to get past enemy blockers. Attach that amulet to one of your units. That hound is exhausted and can't block. You can attack and infiltrate. Oh, great. I received another creature. Direwood Beast with 5-5. Five, five. Cool. Fire Sigil. What's a Fire Sigil? Can attack the turn it is played. Now that's charge. The enemy can only block one attacker. Finish this. The enemy can only block one attacker. Finish this. The poor things. Cool, that's what it. What did this to them? At first look I like it. It's nice game, nice graphics. I love the cartoonish look. We received another card. With the father's death and the eternal throne sitting empty, Vara was wanted back in Argentport. Her uncle Roland sent one of his best men to escort her home. Whether she wanted to go or not, it seems Vara had other plans. And let's go on. enough you're coming with me the price of progress summon provides an effect when you play the unit you choose which unit gets minus one minus one after playing the acolyte nice one each new game you'll need to regain power through playing sigils I only have expensive creatures. Oh my god. Okay. Proud to serve. Play another shadow sigil. Better late than never. Play Brass Shorthorn to defend yourself. Bring it on! Better block before your health gets too low. Aha, uh -huh. I have two attack, two shield, and he has three attack. It's better to block him. Because he will then do only one damage, and that's it, yeah. One more power. Let's play, play another your Shadow Acolyte. Sigil. Amethyst Acolyte and now can, can take down now that I can when you play cripple it. this creature. What? A small incision. Cool.
Rule number one, don't drop your tools. The price of progress. When one of your units with lifesteal deals damage, you will gain that same amount of health. Infused strike is a nice trick. Attack, an iron thorn won't see it coming. Now you've got them. Drag infused strike to your acolyte. Thanks to lifesteal, your acolyte gains you five health. <laughs> nice combo. You're getting closer to playing Direwood Rampager. Watch me. You'll never escape. Rowan will send others. I need two Shadow Sigils, and then I can play the Wood Rampager. Cool. Proud to serve. When your units die, they go to your void and remain there. Shadowlands Guide can bring one back to fight again. Nice one. This way. Bring it on. Finally, we get a Dairoot Rampage. I will attack with all of them. No special abilities because they're all already consumed. on the horizon your seventh power lets you play inspire obedience play inspire obedience to take down the soldier your units are stronger this turn attack and end this Nice one. Come, child. I have something that can help. New deck. Great. Now we can start checking some cards. Hopefully some good she ones. Survived Ironthorn. Oh, by the way, the game is free to play. So, when so, yeah. Caleb, the uncrowned prince, they call him. A bastard with a belly full of fire who will never claim his father's throne. When Caiaphas died, Caleb set out to learn his mother's name. He hoped the Praxis mages could prove his blood was true. Help him inherit the title he called his birthright. His journey to their tower was a hard one. And the Spellslingers themselves? Well, you never can trust them. Caleb's search for his past began at the walls of Argentport, with an unlucky grunt ordered to bar the gates. Some folks just gotta learn things the hard way. I'm sorry, sir. Commander Roland has ordered the gates sealed. I guess you this is a new episode, because now we have fire sigil, no, sir, or not, please. we'll see, I because... Have my orders. The game You've got continues. your orders, and I've got my shotgun. 
Which one we are still in tutorial to? mode. I am Seraph. I will prepare you for the many dangers that await in the wide world. Now, let us begin. Oh, thanks, Seraph. Let us begin. When a unit with Warcry attacks, the topmost unit or weapon of your deck gets plus one strength and plus one health. Or plus one, plus one for short. This bonus stacks with each war cry. Nice. Oni Ronin costs Die one power. Honor. Play it your from your hand. Units with charge can attack the turn you play them. Oh, Find great. opportunities to surprise your enemy with the damage they That's can do. That's actually the same as haste in some other games. I'm leaving one way or another. Play a fire sigil to reach two maximum power. With charge, you Always can play bring a knife to oh, no, I can attack with with both right of way. them. Fast spells can be played not only on your turn, but on enemy turns or in reaction to enemy spells. Oh, come on. Why? <laughs> Hold the gates! Proud to serve. Go! Choose your side! And now I don't have war cry anymore. Oh. Oni Ronin is normally a 2-1, but this Ronin was given plus two plus two from war cry. Oh cool. Die with honor. Let's attack for two damage, since the opponent doesn't have an enemy. Cool. Stand aside! Every weapon needs a blade. <laughs> Proud to serve. Stand aside. I could use a little help here. Caldering gunsmiths should do the trick. With this, you can't miss. Right on time. I'm leaving now. Oh, Don't wait up. Nice one. Nice card. Praxis Arcanum was a long and dusty hall, and Caleb found the doors sealed when he arrived. His pounding fist near shook the tower, and soon the doorkeeper appeared. Yeah, I guess this is still tutorial mode, because now we are in Fire Sigil. We finished the first sigil, so let's continue and finish with the Fire Sigil. Mage Marison. Unfortunately, Mistress Marison is not accepting petitions just now. Perhaps if you return after the harvest, I will see her now. Oh. Who 
who's out there? Entomb provides a bonus when the unit is killed. Taking Grenadine will deal three damage to the enemy player when it... You'll need to play a fire sigil to play your Grenadine. Your Grenadine can deal with that village watch. When Grenadine dies, it deals three damage the to the enemy to player. Amora is long. Oh, nice card. Nice card because now when he will attack me, he will gain one life back. This will do the trick. Yeah, exactly. You can shoot down that Oasis Seeker before it has the chance to attack again. And I can't do anything this round on your feet wanderer and centaur old rider goes into play right out It's written right here. Better block before your health gets too low. <laughs> Charge might turn this around by getting in a lot of damage quickly. Centaur Raid Leader gives your next unit charge. Go on the offensive and attack. So let's attack. Charge! Get Pit Fighter into battle. To the slaughter! You're not the only one in a... I see I underestimate. Nice one. Also in this game, the charge units Time are quickens. mostly from fire sigil. Double damage will double all damage from the unit. This includes normal battle damage, but also any other damage the unit may deal. Nice. Play your charge unit first. Brace yourself! You held them off long enough. End this. The enemy chose to block Pit Fighter with two units. It'll deal enough to kill one blocker, then assign the rest of its damage to the other. <laughs> now that the enemy health is low enough, Detonate will finish this. Marison! Come down from your tower! Nice. <laughs> Another card? Caleb finally faced the mage who could tell him of his mother and help him claim the eternal throne. 
but Morrison's rhymes only enrage the prince. Speak plainly, witch. Who is my mother? Does she live? The acorn seeks a second tree, when it would thrive as one. Unwilling to let secrets be, you are your father's son. Enough of your riddles! I will force the truth from you if I must! Dust. Cards require not only power, but also influence to play. You already have eight power, but to play Caleb, you need three fire influence, and you only have two at the moment. Playing a fire sigil gives you both one power and one fire influence. You can wield one relic weapon at a time, and can use it to attack once each turn. A relic weapon gets you into the fight by letting you attack enemy units directly. If there are no enemy units, you can attack the enemy player. Drag your weapon to an enemy unit to attack it. Note that the unit you attack will damage you back. It. You'll be good as new. To the slaughter! Find my way. When a card with warp is on top of your deck, you can see it and play it as if it were in your hand. Your enemy can't see it. You can play Blink Wolf from the top of your deck. Playing Caleb's favor will allow you to draw the fire sigil you need to play Caleb next turn. Who says you can't play with fire? And now I will attack with all of my available units. to dust why must children break what they do not understand this is over you finally have enough fire influence to send Caleb into battle the rebels are Charge. aiming high best not let him down Ooh, that's crazy what an ability that's just silly and it has a flying ability, charge ability. My god. 
Nice card. No, I, I need answers. And I received a new deck. Caleb proved his mettle, but not his wits. He bested the old sorceress in battle, but she told him nothing more. His victory left him no closer to learning his mother's name, or to claiming the eternal throne. For Talir, her brother Caphas's death was both a tragedy and a mystery. What had happened in the throne room? What had Caphas done, and why? Talir needed answers, and she set out to find them. Talir started her search among the witches of the Filmwood. There's some bad magic happening under those trees. But Talir was never one to be squeamish about a curse or two. Oh, cool. Now we are doing the tutorial for Time Sigil. Every secret has a price. After completing it, I will receive Play a, time a time sigil, sigil from your hand. card pack. Initiate of the Sands only costs one power. Time quickens. Relics provide bonuses while in play. Xenon Obelisk makes all of your units more powerful and becomes even stronger once you've reached eight power. That means it would be the best to save it for the end. Okay. Initiate of the Sands can still attack while it increases your maximum power. Safe travels, friend. When a unit with Overwhelm is blocked, if it has more strength than the blocker's health, the extra damage is applied to the enemy player. Through the shadows. Take. Oh great, and now I will attack with both of them.
We all change. Who is this? What is that mark on your face? I'll summon it on this creature and I will gain life. Great. These were our woods once. The lights gather. When you draw a card with fate, you get a bonus effect. Lumen Shepherd plays a wisp for you for free. Nice one. Focus, child. I'll attack with two. The enemy doesn't have any creatures anymore. And now I can call the Ancient Terra Zone. Okay. Who was that man? He seemed strange. Of course, playing against real real players won't be so easy. This is just a tutorial. Some folk believe mages can read the future in flames. Tilir knows better than most. Track down a rebel we have two more have sigils, as I can see, two are unlocked, and then I guess we can come to a menu, because it doesn't allow me to go to any kind of menu, just to finish the tutorial. You're with us or against us? I have no quarrel with your rebellion. They got the jump on you. Hold them off as long as you can. Huh. Killer lets the unit attack an enemy unit directly a single time, each damaging the other. This special attack can be made the turn the unit is played. Envelop can be used on the enemy turn to slow them down a little. You should avoid taking as much damage as possible. I will uh, cast an envelope on this one. Not quite as planned. This one is the strongest one. I will return it to opponent's deck. Now he can do only 4 damage the next round. Not quite as planned. Units with ambush can be played at the end of the enemy turn or during enemy attacks for a surprise block.
Now you can ambush an attacker with Dune Phantom. Once you've played Dune Phantom, choose which unit you wish to block. I will block the strongest one. Hmm. Keep them back just a little while longer. Cool, I will put this enemy into opponent's hands. This one. And it will cost him plus two more. Yeah, the cost is increased by two. Great. Next round. Weaver will double the cost of a card in the enemy All hand, in good time. keeping it away for a little longer. Cool. Killer allows your Carnosaur to immediately attack an enemy unit directly. Killer allows your Carnosaur to immediately attack an enemy unit directly. The enemy is only at 3 health and will be forced to block an attack from Time Weaver. You held them off long enough. End this. Yeah, let's end this. What are these strangers around you? The Huru see much more than they let on. But you gotta be careful when you seek them out. From what I hear, they're as like to feed you to their owls and share the mysteries of the world. Talir needed to know more about the strangers she'd encountered. She needed the owl's wisdom. Pretty nice tutorial. I wish, uh, I wish all the At games the would have of such game, a nice you'll tutorial. You'll have an opportunity to draw a new hand of cards if you wish. You should do so now. This hand has too many high-cost cards that are more suitable for later in the game. Please, who are these strangers? What do they mean? Faces in the shadows. Death. Be gone. This affects us all. Deadly units will kill any unit they damage. Lumen Defender isn't a strong attacker, but it can kill any unit it gets into battle with. Nice one. We stand strong. Their influence is everywhere. Find my way. I bring word.
to dust. Cool, I have four sigils. So I can call the timekeeper. Tick tock. Five sigils, and now I can call the Lumen Defender, which has the ability of Deadly. Time heals all. Nice one. I'll attack with this too. with destiny are played for free when you draw them. You then immediately draw another card. Nice. Be redeemed. Safe travels, friend. Cool, I got another sigil. Two more rounds and I will have eight sigils. That means I can call the Talier. God. If I would have 25 life, I could play 5 sentinels. My god. And now I can call the Talir. So much to discover. And let's attack for final blow. The shadows, they are coming. And new deck acquired. That means the time sigil is finished. Talir's questions were only turning up more questions. What had the Huru meant about faces in the shadows? She began the journey back to Argentport, fearing that the worst still lay ahead. After the death of her husband, Caiaphas, Island was a queen without a crown. She'd never truly become welcomed in Argentport, even after all these years. She was still an outsider, a savage. She decided to visit her people among the clans of the north to rediscover the world she'd left behind. 
Since Caiaphas' death, the roads outside of Argentport have been overrun by bandits. Island had no idea how bad things had gotten, but it didn't take her long to find out. I'll be taking your coin. What led you to this life? Don't worry about my life, honey. Look after your own. And now for the primal sigil. Nice. Flying units can't be blocked by units that don't fly. Cloud Snake Hatchling can safely soar. Should I block it? Because then I will die. Hm. No, I won't. These were our woods once. Echo creates a duplicate copy of a card when drawn. You got an extra Thunderstrike Dragon just for drawing it. Nice. Oh great, finally some sigils. Watch me. Stunned units are exhausted and can't block or attack. They remain exhausted during the enemy's next turn. Mm, nice one. You aren't welcome here. I will attack with flyer. Cool. Turn back! It 
would be interesting if I would lose in tutorial. <laughs> oh, come on. No, I don't want to block you because you will destroy my pretty nice little creature. Hmm. Six sigils, that means flyer, another flyer, cool. Okay. You're not on the list. Oh, nice. Some pretty nice cards. Oh, come on. Block. Can you hear the wind blow? Take it to the skies! I will give this unit a flying ability and attack. And that's Are it. This bad Interesting. Everywhere? Island returned to her birth clan, but she didn't quite get the welcome she was expecting. Seems her choices made her no more popular in the Outlands than in Archonport. Mm, let's continue. My people, I am home. Home? You turned your back on your clan. <laughs> I still can't reckless units must summon any units turn if they can. Voracious Fasora hits hard. But won't often get the chance to block. Okay, let's see. When you polymorph a unit, it permanently becomes a 1-1 one -one frog for the rest of the game. Nice one.
Oh god. I have no sigils. Stun them. Hopefully, I will get some sigils next round. Oh, finally. But still, I have only four. Still no sigils. The ice is deep here. <coughs> Can you hear the wind blow? says you can't play with fire nice let's see if I will get some sigils oh great finally I'll attack with all of my creatures Great, I have plus one plus one on this creature due to this one. This is cool. One more round and I'm finished. That's it. How? How did this happen? Continue. Well, on our way back to the capital, Island found out the hard way that not everybody was eager to see her come home. A cabal assassin caught up with her in the Filmwood, and her story nearly ended there. Nice cards. Who sent you? You don't need to worry about that.
When you scout, look at the top card of your deck and then choose whether to leave it on top or to put it on the bottom of your deck. <laughs> you play a curse on an enemy where it will provide an ongoing effect that hinders that unit or player in some way. I'll put it on top of the deck. Send a message. Watch me! You're not on the list. Oh, again, I, I can stun an opponent. Great. Who shall I stun? Definitely this one. You aren't welcome here. These were our woods once. Should I block? I can kill this one. I can kill this one, but this one has. Okay, I will kill this one. <laughs> Finally, for some badass creatures with flying ability. Let's attack. Another prime sigil with seven sigils accumulated. That means I can call two creatures. Yeah. First, I will call the spell. Then I am able to draw two cards. Amazing. Another sigils, which is good for the next round. And now I will call the yeti troublemaker. An attack with all three creatures available. Nice. Another sigil into the play. I don't need to stun anyone because there isn't any creatures left. So I can just attack and finish. The misery of the opponent. Someone just made a dangerous mistake. <laughs> Ooh. 
great we finished the primal sigil and received the card pack and now for the last Island one could hold her own in a scrap and survived her homecoming but why had the clan turned on her and on whose orders she got herself back to Argentport, but her city's high walls didn't seem so safe anymore when Caiaphas died his uncle Roland stepped in to maintain order and keep the peace but some folks don't take kindly to iron-fisted tyrants no matter how noble their ideals before long Roland found himself with a full-fledged rebellion on his hands he went looking for allies as the rebellion drew close Roland looked close to home Argentport's back alleys hold all manner of folks who call you their friend for a price the cabal are a brutal lot but they sure are effective Great, and now for the last sigil, which is called Justice Sigil. This one is the Sigil of Power. That's why Roland, a nice knight or paladin or whatever. I will keep the deck, it's okay. It's time for you to stand in defense of the city. Ha! We already run this city. No need to die for it. And yet, die you will. Units with endurance ready themselves on both players' turns, allowing them to attack and block. They are also immune to being stunned or exhausted by enemies. Okay, let's call another sigil. Armor is similar to additional health. Armor also acts as the health for relic weapons, allowing them to survive longer. Oh, nice. This is just a spell, which will give me two armor. Shields! Which is basically the same as health. And I received another sigil. Cool. I have enough sigils to reach six of the influence. Now I can call the three. Empower provides uh -huh. a benefit when you play a power card. Order of the Spire will double his strength and health each time. Okay, I will first call the Treasury Guard. Not on my watch. I can't attack this turn. Proud to serve. Good one. Let's go on. We have five sigils. Which means I can call a creature with flying or Minotaur. Hmm. Let's go with the flyer. Another sigil for a creature. Of six, here we go. Serpents on the horizon, and he has also a war cry. Another 
find the sigil. I will also call the Roland. I will give my life for his. Nice spell, pretty nice. True power lies within. Another sigil. Stand fast. Awaiting your command. Nice. I'll attack with two of them. And my armor is gone. Another sigil, but I don't have any more creatures to pull. So I'll just attack. Oh my goodness, it's a weapon with plus five, plus five. Who should I give plus five? to a flyer. Nice. Let's end this misery. Oh, it's not finished yet, sorry. Mantle of Justice gives me... Oh my goodness, plus 10, plus 10. What if I give it to this creature? What happens? Oh! He's back! Back into the game. Cool. Interesting spells. Now report really. to the barracks. I love it. Shore up the capital's defenses. Roland raided the universities, her Cambrai's best and brightest. There was some resistance at first, but after a training session, there weren't many who objected. And let's go on. Cards are okay, so I keep them. Sorry, Commander, but the students aren't ready. They're ready enough. Come, I will teach you what they need. I can't do anything at the moment, so I'll just end it. Focus, child. Do as I do. Let's see. This one has the flying ability. Endurance. Battle skills include any skill a unit can have that benefit it once played. This includes flying, endurance, lifesteal, and war cry. Nice. This one has endurance and lifesteal. Let's go with this one. Hold them off! They will be punished. 
punished. Phew, I'm out of sigils. I will call the Valkyrie. No, this is not a Valkyrie. Yeah, it is. It's a I Valkyrie. fly for the throne. Out of my way. Okay, finally for four sigils. Stand aside. I will call this the one. throne awaits. And this my one. oath is true. If your coin stays good. definitely kill this guy uh, but we can try I got rid of a few creatures. I'll hold them off. Come on, I have no sigils. Not on my watch. I need some sigils. Still I no sigils. Do as I do. Oh, finally.
For those who cannot. I can see that the game gets harder and harder. And I am not receiving any sigils, so yeah. I will give my life for his. Nice. The throne awaits. some creature or spell because I don't have any cards anymore in my deck in my hand yeah just a sigil okay again sigil I'm we march for Argentport. Great. It wasn't easy, but the rebels finally breached the gates. Roman saw an old friend across the battlefield, leading the charge against him. Cards are okay, so I'll just keep that hand. Roland, surrender, and you will be treated well. Argent Port will never fall to traitorous scum. Silence removes all text and skills from a unit. Frontier Confessor will silence an enemy unit when you play him. Okay, but not yet. I need four sigils in my pool. Yeah. All 
ultimates provide a one-time bonus. Once you have six power, you can spend it to give Copper Hall Herald plus two, plus two. Okay. Proud to serve. Silence another unit. Hmm. I won't play this card yet because there's no unit to silence. Not every weapon needs a blade. Yeah, I will silence this guy. Got a familiar face. Nice. Now he doesn't have any text on it. Cool. Oh, my God. Mithril Maze. It's a weapon. Oh. I will give it to this guy. Oh no, that's for me. Okay, silly me. At least I killed him. But now I'm without creatures. Ready. Aim. Eight. That's great. Mm -hmm. Insolence will not be tolerated. Nice one. Be redeemed. Okay, the enemy doesn't have a flyer, so I can attack with flyer, and he can't. Actually, he can't block. So the damage goes straight to the opponent's sorcerer. Great.
by order of the Auric Bank. Again, I will attack with three of my creatures. I didn't receive any damage, which is great, due to shield. Now we are invulnerable to damage. Cool. Awaiting the last creature. And let's attack with all of the available units. Finish this. They keep coming. I must act. Great. The campaign is complete. The final is finished and we received the final deck now let's see what happens i have no idea i got three rewards nice okay with a creature another chest which contains gold and what is this I have no idea what is this. Some kind of red book. Gold and cart. The rebels ran wild through the streets of Argentport. The Crown Wash couldn't handle their numbers. Roland retreated into his tower and unleashed hell like you've never seen. Waves of magic ripped through the Spire District and both the Rebels and Roland's own people fell like wheat in the storm. In the quiet after the battle, the official story became that the Rebels tried to destroy the city. And it was only Roland's quick action that kept casualties down. But some know the truth. Enough lies, traitor. You've talked long enough. Time to die. <sighs> Executions just ain't as civilized as they used to be. Enough! Get him up! Ah. Funny thing about stories. Never end how you expect. Okay, now I'm able to, to choose my play style. The scholar. Scholars are still discovering where their passion lies. Okay. The warrior. Warriors enjoy proving themselves in competitive events. The explorer. Explorers prefer the unknown challenges that await in limited modes. And the Tinker Tinker looks for unique combinations when deck building. I have no idea what to choose. Because I don't know what is this used for. I will just choose the warrior. I received some gold. Okay. Okay, and this is the main menu, I guess. So finally... I am able to see what the game looks like. Okay. It shows me I should start with a gauntlet. I have no idea what that is. There's also campaign. Okay, puzzles. 
Okay, I have to complete the gauntlet to unlock puzzles. Events. Okay, I first have to get into ranked mode. Cool. Okay, I have four packs to open. Let me check. Oh, great. Plenty of cards to choose from. And another pack? Great. And another one? Actually, I think I received three packs when I connected my Twitch account to Eternal. Yeah, that was the gift. And one for completing the camp uh, tutorial campaign. Yeah, okay, and now that I don't have any packs to unlock, I have an option to buy. Which means the game is free to play, but the packs itself you have to buy. Let's check how much they cost. Of course they cost only in crystals. There is an option to, to buy some packs with gold actually. Mm -hmm. You have different colors, see? Okay. Six legendaries cost 5,800. Yeah. Let me buy a red one for 1,000 coins, which contains 12 cards. Aha, uh -huh, and each pack has a guarantee to get a rare card and the le and the chance of containing a legendary. Okay, let's check what did we receive now. Okay. Nice. Right. And what is this currency? Aha, this is a shift stone. It's the it's the currency to cr to craft cart. Okay, this is similar to dust in Hearthstone. Okay, the first quest is obviously complete a gauntlet. That's why the gauntlet is highlighted. Okay, great. For those of you who are watching this eternal card game tutorial and first look I'll just take a five minute break and then we can continue exploring the gauntlet thanks for watching for now and I'll be right back
Okay. And I am back. I finished with tutorial mode of Eternal Card Game. So, let's explore this game further on. I have no idea how to build a deck at the moment, so I won't go into there. Uh, I really won't go there. First I have to check, okay, new deck. Aha, you have some decks already created. For example, Hand of Justice. These are the new cards I've received. Okay. And this deck is already created. Okay. Okay, the the creation of a deck is similar than to other games which already exist. But nevertheless, let's go with exploring the game itself. The game instructs me to start with a gauntlet which is actually the first quest as you can see here if you click this this open red book you open it and you see that the first quest is complete a gauntlet oh and if i win a game in ranked or casual mode i will earn a free pack of the latest set let's begin with the gauntlet and see what that is i have no idea Okay, I have to fight through powerful AI-controlled opponents. I have to defeat the final boss and I will receive a grant, a grant prize. I guess the prize is um, in the terms of card packs and that's it. Let's go. What's this question here? Okay. I have to reach seven wins win all seven rounds to earn three silver chests okay let's let's begin choose your favorite deck okay hmm which was mine I thought quite amusing the hand of justice a word choice yeah I won't edit it at the moment I'll just try and play to see whether I can do something with with uh, main deck without new cards which I already received. Okay, the first draw is quite good. Okay, I will keep it and let us begin. I have no other cards to play so I'll just end turn peace is its own reward another sigil goes into play okay what is this creature ages okay he's protected from one enemy spell Okay, this is a spell, I won't use it now, Proud to just serve. hold the soldier, and then turn. I will call another sigil. Whew. I can already get a weapon. Or call the treasury guide. Guard, sorry. Can't be stunned or exhausted. I will call Not on my watch. And attack with this one. The opponent didn't block, so I gave a pretty nice 3 point damage to the opponent, and I will end the turn. Order! Order! Okay, 
Oh, huge shield. Plus two, plus two. Okay. I have three sigils. Who can I upgrade? Three plus... Okay, I can give to this one a boost. And another one. And hopefully this guy will try to block me. No, it was vice versa, but nevertheless, I killed one. Let's end this turn. Okay, I will call this one so I uh, call this spell so I can draw just a sigil from my deck. Shields! And summon it to game. Here we go, an attack with both of my players. So just let me check what this is. Okay. I will call. Another spell. Shields! And get another sigil, which I can call to game next round. Time quickens. Stand fast. Oh, great. Stand fast. Stand fast. Not on my watch. out well I will destroy their flyer cool they don't have any flyers anymore. Oh, I'm just getting sigils, which sucks. Oh yes. my god. Okay.
hopefully one more round and that's it. First win. Now he will silence me. That's just great. I cannot fly anymore. And I'm receiving just sigils. Which is ridiculous. I need a creature at the moment. Awaiting your command. Cool, now I'll attack with all I've got. Oh, bad. But I won. Otherwise, good combo at the end. Level 2. I have no idea what kind of benefits I get at level 2. But let's proceed. Current price, okay. How do I unlock this? I have no idea. Let's play another game. Okay, I'll keep the deck, though I have quite few sigils. Okay, let's end this turn. Spell, soldier, soldier. Proud to serve. Let's go with a soldier. Oh, bad. Not on mark. Let's go on with the treasury guard. Silence a unit. Proud to serve. Shields. Great, I received one sigil, which I will use next round, and then this card will have plus five, plus five. And now I will just attack with this creature and then turn. And I'm toast with one creature down. Okay, I have five sigils. Hmm. Let me just call another Dead creature pass. instead and attack. Another sigil. I will call a flyer. An end turn.
Okay. Now I really need some more mithril. Oh, great. Oh, this is going to be... this is going to hurt. I fly for the throne. Ah, come on, one more damage. Ow, oh, I could ended it, yeah, I forgot I have a weapon. Nevertheless... Yeah, okay. Peace is its own reward. And that's it. Current price, two chests. Cool. Let's let us proceed. Oh, no sigils. Okay, better. I can't do anything else at the moment, so I'll proceed. Safe travels, friend. Another sigil comes into play with the treasury guard. Yeah, I'll definitely go with the treasury guard. Not on my watch. Cool. Another sigil. Oh. I will call this little bugger. A few more adjustments. written right here another sigil okay I will increase the damage of this bugger and attack with both of them
I will just attack. Another sigil. Shields. Great. Their wall is destroyed. Another sigil and our Argent Port Soldier. Proud to serve. Let's go. Almost there. Almost there. Proud to serve. Spell. I'll attack with both of them. The wall is down. Okay. Proud to serve. Didn't block. Peace is its own reward. points and I'm done it's written right here And I'm done. Great. At the moment, the current price is three chests. Pretty nice.
I'll just play further on with my uh, with my current uh, deck. No customization yet. No deck building yet because I have to first learn the game itself. Hmm. A little bit tricky hand, but I can try. Proud to serve. Proud to serve. I fly for the throne. Good spell. Proud to serve. Oh. Now I have four and a war. Meet crown. my axe. Not on my watch. You can't play with fire. Who says you can't play with fire? Nice spells. I have two flyers already, so I'll attack with two of them. Done. I had three flyers, so the enemy couldn't stand a chance. Oh, I've received hundreds of this. Oh, great. Let's 
let's continue. Aha, uh -huh, current price, free chests. And they are changing the colors, which means the rarity of the cars I get, I guess, and the quantity. Three more, and I'm finished with Gauntlet. Okay, a tricky, a tricky hand, but I can try, only two sigils. Hopefully I can get each turn a new sigil, otherwise I'm toast. Yeah, I received the sigil. Great. Hmm, and I have only spells. Shields! Focus, child. Okay, finally. So now the opponent doesn't have a flyer because I silenced him. <coughs> Focus, child. Shields. I will attack. <laughs> Great. Focus, child. Be redeemed. Awaiting your command. Oh, it's an ambush. Okay, at least it's just a wall. With no attack. Great. This is a flyer, and this is a flyer, okay. Great, and I will attack with these two guys, which are flyers, and the opponent cannot block me. Great. Not on my watch. I fly for the throne. 
Now I'll attack with four of my creatures. Great. And I will attack with my hero. Great. Ten more to go and we're finished. Focus, child. Peace is its own reward. And now only I can attack. Okay, we need one more round and that's it. Great. Two more to go. Nice cards. Okay, the cheapest card I can get is Minotaur Grunt with two sigils. Great. Oh, he's already in game. Toctic. Come on. Meet my axe. And I won't be able to destroy him. Yeah. My turn. Okay, I can call Not this card. Make each bullet count. Another sigil. Be redeemed. Okay, I will attack since I didn't get any sigils this turn. I received a life, great. Of course, this paladin has a ability of life steal. Shields. I will Proud call to this serve. one. Attack with both. Uh. 
few more rounds and I'm done. Oh, he silenced me. Another Proud soldier. Let's give him a damage of five. Great. I'm already at 37. Make each bullet count. I have no sigils. Great, finally, I can call a character with flying ability. But I'm already done. Great, another victory. One more game, and I will receive free chests. Now for the final boss. Oh my god, units deal double damage. I will keep the deck. This is going to be a tough. Bring a knife to a gunfight. Oh, that's bad. Meet my axe. And I have no creatures, just some spells, and that's it. I'm done. <laughs> I have only spells. Yeah. Oh, great. Yes, I would have to a little bit upgrade my deck. Which are the new cards? Justice, okay.
These are the new cards. I just stay with it and try another if I can do it with regular deck because the draw in hand was really bad one. Already upgraded, oh my god. And again I have no... No, I have no creatures. This is pretty bad. Always bring a knife to a gunfight! Awaiting your command. Pooh, I'll be toast again. Totally different cars for this kind of gameplay. Not on my watch. Yeah, I'm toast. I have no sigils. I can only call this one and this and that's it. A few more adjustments. Basically useless. And I have only one life left, so I'm toast. Yeah, I have no sigils. Oh, yeah, I'm done. Yeah, pretty bad luck today. Nope. I'm toast. Always bring a knife to a gunfight! Always bring a knife to a gunfight!
Okay, I received three chests. Great. Cool. And another one. Great. Okay, and now I have three more quests. Okay, now the casual is opened and ranked is also opened. Great. Okay. This is enough for today. This was the first look at Eternal card game. Hope you enjoyed it as I did. For tomorrow I will have to dig deeper into it and start building some stronger deck. I received plenty of new cards so I really have to create new decks. So thank you for watching and hear from you tomorrow. Bye bye.